Hey everybody, um, so today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to do a nail tutorial and show you how I make this design, which is um, little cherries, as you can kind of see, and the camera's really blurry. Um, but yeah, recently I've been posting a lot of pictures on my Facebook of um, different nail designs that I do, and I get so many people asking me, um, and even at work too, um, like, Brittany, like, how do you do these nail designs? So I decided to make a little video on how I actually do it, because it's really not that hard. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video and you really like the nail design. Thanks! Okay, so the first thing I always do is I always put down some sort of paper towel, like, protection for your table. Um, because you never really know how messy it can get. Um, and then the first thing I put on my nails is a base coat. I've already applied that. And so, and I definitely recommend that you do apply a base coat because it helps your nails, um, not turn yellow. So the first thing I'm going to apply is just a white. So I don't really have like a specific way of it painting my nails, I just put it on. It doesn't matter if you get it on like your finger or whatever, you can always clean it up after. You know, polish remover was invented for a reason. So now I have my nails completely painted white, sorry for the ray of sunlight in the back, you can't really see, um, but I'm going to let them dry about five minutes before we move on to the next step, which is the red dots for the cherries. Okay, so for the cherries, um, I'm going to make the bean two little red dots like this. Sorry, it's so blurry. Um, but what I do is I take a red nail polish, and then I take it and I dip it onto some paper, so like there's a glob of red on this paper here. And while it's still good and thick and wet, this is pretty ghetto, but what I use is, you can either use like dotting tools or like toothpicks and stuff. But I'm going to be ghetto, and I'm going to actually use a nail, like a household nail that you'd use to put in the wall. It has like the end for like, um, like detail work, and the other end is a little bit bigger and rounder, and it's like the perfect size for more than I want for my cherries. So what I do is I take the end of it, the head of the nail, dip it in the red, making sure it's fully covered, and then I just dip onto my nail. Okay, so now I have my um, left hand done. And as you can see, I got all the little red dots. And as I said, don't worry about it if you get any nail polish on your fingers. You can always clean it up afterwards, and I can show you how I clean up after. So now to do my right hand. A lot of people ask me how I do my other hand because I, I am right-handed. Um, so basically what I do, I don't know if I can film this quite right. Please ignore the Hello Kitty pants. Um, what I do is I just make sure that my left hand is steady, like braced on like the table or whatever you're working on. And just make sure it's like steady and then you just press. Okay, so now I got all my little red dots on there for the cherries, and now I'm going to make a stem. And for the stem, I am going to use that, um, my dotting tool with the little nail brush that I got. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So what I'll do is I'll take my green, but for the green, I'm going to be using it to make the stems and like a little leaf at the top. So same idea with the red, I take my piece of paper and I just kind of Put a big glob of it and just dot it on a piece of paper. So, this is the first time I've done it, so we'll see how well it works. Then I just take my little brush and just dip it in the paint. Make a few test lines. Yeah, looks nice. And then on my nail, I just take it. They're just going to be little lines. There's one. Two. And that's for the leaf. I'm just going to make like a bigger dot and just kind of... There. So I have my right, or so, yeah, my left hand done with the stems and the leaves. And another thing, 
<laughs> my phone. Another thing too is when you're working with the nail polish that you have dotted on a piece of paper, is you do kind of have to work a little fast. Um, considering it's the summertime right now, if it's hot in your house, it does tend to dry pretty quick and then it can get really, really thick and almost stringy and it's not really nice to work with. Um, so yeah, I just kind of work a little bit faster. And you do waste a lot of nail polish germs, but whatever. <laughs> Steady your hands and your nails. Create a line. You can see like how shaky my hands are, so I'm not uh, scary. Okay, so I have that. And now for the leaf. Dot on the top, make like a little triangle shape, I guess. Yeah, looks okay. Now the rest. Okay, so now I've done all the stems and the leaves on both hands. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, um, kind of like the shiny white dots that's going to be on the cherry to show like the reflection. So same idea, you take your white piece of paper and you glob it on the piece of paper and then for this I'm going to use the other side of my dotting tool with the little dot and as I said if you don't have a dotting tool you can just use a toothpick or a nail Mango, you're such a lady. Give yourself a bath. Okay, so I'm done with my nail art now, and as you can see, I have the cherries with their little reflections. Um, and as you can obviously see, I do have it on my fingers. So I'm just going to show you how I clean up my nails after I'm done my nail design. So what I do is I just take nail polish remover and q-tip and then what I do is I like pour a little bit into the lid just a bit and then you take your q-tip dunk it in and then just like sweep it around your finger and like it cleans it up like instantly it's really great <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so now I am done my nail design, and as you can kind of see, not really. Um, yeah, so it's not really even that hard. I definitely recommend if you were going to try something like a nail design, try something simple like this. It's just two dots, a line, and a little triangle at the top. Um, and yeah, and I hope this was helpful, and you can learn how I do my nail design. Thank you.